Okay, I'm gonna need to make like a bunch of electronic circuits. I need like four, I believe. So, let me just take these out. I was gonna use the other table, but I changed my mind. I need more cables, more copper cables. One, two, uh, there we go. One, two, three. Oops, no, that's wrong. It goes on top and bottom. And I think the redstone on the sides. Yeah, okay. Let me just go ahead and make, all right, six. That's as much as I can do. Cool. These are gonna go uh, for the electric furnace. Let me see, I already forgot. Electric furnace. Iron furnace with redstone, so nice. I already got a couple iron furnaces. Because I was using these before to do my charcoal, and before I got the induction furnace running. So there's those. All right. Now, in order to change these into induction furnaces, just like that. There's that. Cooper nickel and two circuits. There we go. What was that? Bond left the game. So I already got out everything out of there. Just making sure I'm not leaving anything behind. Okay. So that's done. So now I need the casings. There's three tiers, like I said. This is the one that you normally want to work towards for most stuff. This is high end. This is going to get you just a couple things that you can do with it, but one of the couple things I can do is titanium. So that's what all I'm going to do for now. So I'm going to need to make nine of these, remember. So I'm going to go for the, I'm going to first make nine machine frames. Actually first, since it's going to take a while to run all the plates, I need to make a bunch of, I just need to make a ton of refined iron. So... Let me just like put like three stacks, because I have so much iron. I'm just going to go ahead and make three stacks of refined iron in my electric furnace. Uh, this is going to run out of power. Here we go. Into the hopper. All right, so that'll be working. Meanwhile, I'll do my, now I can do my machine frame. So I'm gonna need some glass. Mm-hmm, I'm all out of sand. It's all up in the other room. Okay, I'll go grab some glass. And do I have like nine pieces of gold? Pretty sure, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm gonna need some silver. I just got rid of all of it. I mean, some iron. Let me just go ahead and take like, I'm gonna need 36. Okay, wait, is that right? Four times nine? Because I need one for each machine frame and I need nine machine frames. No, no, I'm gonna need 36 glass also. Let me go ahead and I'll just set up an iron furnace because my electric furnace is already working. Um, I can go ahead and take all this over. There's not that much. Cool, all right. I am gonna, in like a month or two, I'm gonna be spending some money on up, uh, building a gaming computer. So I'm gonna be able to run Minecraft in like ultra settings, which is gonna be awesome. So I can get my fancy water reflections back and it'll be nice for YouTube. I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, okay, there's my refined iron. Let me just set up my iron furnace. I'll get like, I'll just set up one, that's fine. Doesn't need to go too fast. Because I'm waiting on the refined iron anyways. So I'll just get like a stack of glass. And charcoal. All right. Okay, so 
Let me let me just start making these. Glass goes on the center. So I think this is right, like this. Glass is gonna go like on the center edges. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video and wait for this glass to finish and more of the refined iron to finish, and I'll be right back. Okay, my glass is done, so I can go ahead and get my nine machine frames. Okay, now these are going to go in the middle. Uh, I'm going to need a bunch of refined iron plates. I think it's one piece of refined iron for each plate. It's not too, doesn't take too much energy. All right, so let me see how many of these will I actually need. I'm going to need this recipe times nine. So I'm going to need six times nine. Six of these times nine is 54. That's not too much. Let me go ahead and I'll just go put my plate bedding machine over where I was, where I had my compressor. All right, there's that. Oh, no. Give me back. Come on. All right. What's going on? Let me uh, see if it's lagging or if it's just... Yeah, it might be lagging. Okay. Well, anyways, we're going to need to put 54 refined iron in there. And we should have enough power to... Oop, nope, I took it out. Okay. I think... Um, if you just have charcoal running in this generator like this, it's going to keep burning a charcoal, but the energy isn't going to be used as fast as it potentially could be producing. So it's kind of a waste, I think, to just have charcoal running in a generator like that. So I just took it out. I'm going to wait till it empties. But for this, I think I'll just go ahead and stick it back in. Not a big deal. I have so much. I don't want this thing to run out of power. I just want it to be finished. Let me see if I have 54. Oh, ho, ho. Come on, one more. Come on down. All right, perfect. Just like that. Okay. Nice. Okay, so then after that, I'm going to need like 18 electronic circuits. Because I need two. I need this recipe times nine. So there's 18. Which means I'm going to need more copper. I have the rubber. I'm going to need more copper to make the cables. So let me go ahead and... Oh, wow. I'm actually out of copper. Oh. All right. So I might have to go mining, actually. Which isn't a huge deal. But actually, let me think, how many do I actually need? Let me just go ahead and macerate all this and see how much that gives me. Because I might not need that much. Copper can go a pretty long way because it doesn't take too much to make the cables. It's going to take like three for each ele electronic circuit. And of course, this is going to double when I macerate it. So I will need a few more. I can do that. I can just uh, cut the video and go, or I can just go, I'll just go ahead and record it, and I might have to split it up if this episode would be like 40 minutes otherwise. But um, I can I can craft one by now, one now already to show you. I'm going to need this, re I'm going to program the recipe in there. There's that, that, and that. All right. Well, I won't craft it yet because that's going to kill the recipe. I'm all out of copper. I did not see that coming. I mean, it's not hard to find it. I think I got it. I think copper only spawns above a certain level. So when I was digging out this ocean, I didn't get any copper. That's probably what happened. All right. Well. I'm going to go find some copper. So let me actually get a better pickaxe. Uh, I don't want to make a diamond one. I'll go ahead and do the iron. 
Uh, sticks. Okay. There we go. So let me figure out how much I need. For an electronic circuit, I'm going to need 16 more. That means I'm going to need 3 copper times 16. That's 48. So I'm going to need 24. Well, I'm going to need 48 ingots. Let me see how many I'm going to actually get. I just put 7 in here. They're now going into the furnace. Copper dust. So that's 14. I got 19 if you count this. So I'm going to need to go get 30 iron. In other words, 15 ore, which isn't that much. So let me go ahead and find my mining hole and go find a couple veins of copper. Is that copper? Nope. Yeah, I don't think copper spawns this low. I never see it, and I th and I know I read somewhere is that copper. Yes, it is. Oh, copper everywhere. All right. It's easier if I can get a cobblestone to make some little ledges, so I can stand on them while I mine it. Whoa! Nice. And right here too. Okay. Wavy vines. I, I, I would want to disable the waving if it would let me bring my water reflections back because I like the wavy vines. But if they're causing frame rate drops, I would rather disable those and bring my water reflections back because I really like water reflections. And uh, the waving stuff is, it seems kind of weird. I mean, it's cool, but at times it's just like too much and it doesn't seem very realistic. And if, I mean, if it's going to help frames, and go ahead and get rid of it. I, so I've, I've actually tried looking at, uh, online, how to disable certain parts of the shader packs. I've tried to look up uh, shader packs that only do water shade, uh, water reflections, different stuff. I haven't really had any success with any finding any good packs or being able to change settings. So, I'm not sure. But this this lower setting um, pack that I'm using right now is really working out nicely, I guess. I should probably break all these because I don't want them to get in the way of my trees growing. After I finish. All right. Twelve. So I need like a couple more. I'm just gonna go and break. All There's one. No, that's red. That's red zirconium. But I don't want my trees to be blocked, so I'm gonna go ahead and break all these that I've just put down. Okay, where's the last copper? Up there. Yes. Hopefully, there's three here. Uh-oh. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, I think I might be one short. Is that... Wow, okay. Oh, there's some right here, right here too. Oops. Alright. And that should be good for now. So once I get back to my uh, other room, I'll go ahead and stick all this in the processor to be to be uh, turned into ingots, and then I'll I'll cut back when. Oops. Well, I, f I need to go down here anyways. I'll cut back when I have enough iron to make all the electronic circuits, and then I can make all my casings. All right. So I'll cut the video now. Okay. So my copper is done. That's the last piece right there. There we go. Okay, right, there we go. Okay. Now we can finish the casings and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna craft the I'm not gonna build the like the uh, 
Industrial Blast Furnace right now, but that's going to be next time. Um, if I don't have enough rubber, I'm just going to cut the video now. I'll skip. I better have enough rubber. I don't have enough rubber. Oh, Alright, be right back. Okay, I got more rubber. Now we can finish. We'll just make all these into copper cables. Go. Okay, that should be enough. Now into the electric furnaces using refined iron and redstone. I do have more refined iron, right? Uh. Oh, good. I was I was gonna have to cut again. Okay. So many cuts. It goes there. And there we go. 16, that's exactly how many we needed. Okay, we're done. Let's go ahead and stick these in here. Go, give me the 36. What? I had, uh, wait. Did I not have all my plates in there or what? Ah, that's, I thought I remembered putting them in that chest. I was like, I was, uh, I was kind of confused for a second. Okay. And then uh, these. There's the 36. All right. Yay, we did it. And now we got 36 and we got the industrial blast furnace. Now let me just go ahead and show you the rest, the, how much energy we're gonna need to make the titanium, which is why I need to set up my MFE. So for this, we need the titanium. We're also gonna need some more diamonds because we don't have enough right now. But uh, for that recipe, we need to blast furnace the dust which is going to take 128,000 EU at 100, 128 EU per tick. I don't think that's max, actually. I think, like, if you don't give it that much, it's just going to not run. So I think I need 128 EU per tick. So I'm going to definitely need the MFE. So that's what I'm going to do next time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I will see you next time where we're going to set up the industrial blast furnace and get ourselves some titanium. All right. See you guys.